Today, we're gonna learn how to make this badass dragon eye goblet. Stay tuned. Now, I have always wanted a badass fantasy drinking goblet. The inspiration for this one was the love of dragons mixed with my need to constantly keep a judging eye on all who I drink with. I'm not a fun dinner guest, it's all just thinly veiled threats. All right, so here's how I made this. For starters, the materials I used to put this thing together is a glass drinking goblet from Walmart, some super sculpy clay, and a dragon eye cabochon. Now I went over the making of these dragon eye cabochons in this video up here if you wanna check it out. It is super easy and satisfying to do. There is no reason for you to go out and buy these things. So I started by flattening out my clay. That clay crepe, the, the clape, if you will, Nope, don't like that, that was a bad one. Is then wrapped around the goblet. Then I trim it with my X-Acto knife into a shape that I liked. Now I didn't want to just stick the cabochon onto that because I was afraid the eye would stick out way too much. To get around that, I used the eye as a guide to cut out a circle in the clay. This helps for it to sit a little less proud on the surface. Next, I started adding layers of clay to form the eyelids. Then I got to rolling up some clay to make the brow ridge and a funky little tail design that wraps around the whole goblet. As it goes, I'm smoothing out the edges and trying to make it all one piece. This way when it hardens, I don't have like pieces that were stuck on that just start to fall off because it wasn't one cohesive unit. Okay, with that, the base is in place and it's time to start adding on our details. I started by just adding some grooves into the brows, smoothing them out a bit to make them look like bony ridges. Now for the scales on here, I came up with a little technique that I'm actually really proud of. So because I do leatherworking, I have these hole punches. These kits come with heads of various sizes for making holes of various sizes, obviously. Using these punches as stamps, I'm able to create a pretty convincing scale pattern. I just alternate the size of the head to add variety. If you don't have these punches, you can just use like a pen cap or a marker cap or bottle caps, pieces of tubing, whatever you can get your hand on. As long as it makes a little circle indent, you should be good. At this time, I also went back in and cut in some little belly scales for the tail section. Finally, I added in some of these little triangle pieces just to add a spine along the tail ridge. Once I was happy with the overall look, it was off to the oven at 275 for 20 minutes to harden. And with that all cured and ready, it was just time to add some paint. I started with a base layer of black acrylic. This will help add depth and uniformity as we go. Next, I mixed up some red with a little bit of brown and then dry brushed that on. By adding so little at a time, I'm able to let the darker color underneath come through, giving it a grittier, more three-dimensional shape. Then I went in and added some pops of orange for those spikes. I also added in some yellow for the belly scales as well. Now to give the piece a little more depth, I went over the whole thing with a wash. The darker color of the wash just settles into all little cracks and crevices, letting them sink in a little bit deeper, while at the same time helping the, all the colors kind of meld together in a nicer fashion. Just overall smooths everything out. Finally, I painted in the highlights using a little bit of yellow around the eye and a bit more red around the rest of the piece. And there you have it! One chalice of fire and blood to appease whatever draconic overlord pays you a visit. So this piece is my entry into a contest held by my good friends over at Makers Figuring It Out. There are podcasts for the maker communities in which makers come on and say how they're, you know, figuring it out. They're really great. I left a link to them in the description below if you want to check them out. This particular contest is the Raising the Bar Challenge, in which you had to make some way that displays a drink using two or more materials. I've also left a link to the post where they have the rules for this in the description below, so if you want to join and play along, why don't you click down there. Now I hope you like this skill, it is super easy and the results, honestly the results are dope. I'm very happy with how this came out. If you did like this skill, why don't you give me some of that like it love and do not forget to subscribe so you know when I release new content. In the meantime though, keep leveling up you.